Welcome to the view. Welcome, oh, welcome to the view. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> um, what are we talking about today? The Select Art oh, Fair. Oh, the Select Michael Art Michael had Fair. his world debut on the art stage this week and on what, Wednesday. And what a debut. And what, it, the party was like the 80s. I mean, it really was like... Um, some scene you know, area. The cocaine or ecstasy. No, no, no. It was like some scene at area with like this dorm mob scene where like everybody, anybody couldn't get in. You know, Esther couldn't get in, Jenny couldn't get in. Oh right, yes. There was a huge line. Like it's on Twenty Second Street between Tenth and Eleventh in Manhattan. Yeah. And literally, the line was from Eleventh Avenue all the way to Tenth Avenue, and that's a long line. But it was a line and a mob scene because the line was for people who are dumb enough to wait on line. And the mob scene at the door is for all the people who are not dumb enough to wait online and who want to go right to the front of the line and you know and demand that and they demand realize. that they get and those are all the good people. So um, so there was not only the line, but you couldn't even get through the people who were demanding to get in. So it was a double uh, way of not getting in. So you really couldn't get in. Yeah, I had so, this big I had this big bag of lithographs, and I had to pretend I was a delivery person delivering an important. A uh, load of lithographs to one of the galleries. Well, I get a text. I'm I'm inside being interviewed uh, from some magazine, and I get a text from Esther, my editor, Esther Haynes, saying, uh, "Thanks for inviting us to get in, you shithead." <laughs> so I had to send Alex out. I said, "I'm sending Alex out right now." I had to stop everything and send Alex out to go get her and pull her in. Oh, it really was like the '80s. People cursing you out. Yes, <laughs> and then demanding a drink ticket. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, well, I must say that Esther looks so thin and great. Like yeah. I only really saw her a lot last summer when she was pregnant. So you know, I only remember right. the fat. Remember Esther, her fat. But, uh, <laughs> she looks really good then. She does. Look, and she. I asked her if she had any work done on her face, and she says no. But. So back to you. Uh, how did it feel having your art like out up there on walls where people were looking at it? Did, were you nervous? At no, all? I, I wasn't because um, because it's so good. <laughs> no, because I mean, first of all, I think that if anybody didn't like it, they wouldn't tell me. That's so true. So nobody's going to say we don't like this, you know. And everybody was saying how much they did like it. So, and how did you feel having your art on the wall, like next to all these other artists? So. Like you're basically, I mean, maybe other people weren't judging you or your art comparing it to other people's work, but there was other work there that was inspired by similar, you know, genres. I, as I yours. saw that. I saw those. I saw. Are you talking about the pixelated pills and stuff like that? That, and then you know, there were other the guy Andy who Warhol did the pi- inspired. The guy who did the pixelated pills came up to me and told me that I was an inspiration for him. So. Wow. Yeah, I, I I didn't know that he that was him, but he came up and told me. He said, "I have a, a booth upstairs, and I, you're an inspiration to me." And I said, "You didn't do the pixelated pills, did you?" And he said, "Yes." How did you know? Oh wow! And he's friends with Raphael Fuchs, the guy who. There are so many people there that know Ernie, and and who tell me that they know Ernie and say hi to Ernie. And when I tell Ernie about them, he says he doesn't remember them. This guy, Raphael Fuchs, who is a who is a photographer for Project X, and did covers and fashion spreads and everything, and worked closely with Ernie, <laughs> Ernie doesn't remember him. Well, you know, I am memory challenged from the 90s. Uh, there was a lot of partying back then, and uh, it's very hard to remember people's names. But well, he's usually, on my Instagram now. Usually when I see people's faces, I remember their faces, but I might not remember their names. Well, but then there's on like, my Instagram There's like now. a year or two of which I just don't remember at all. Well, he's on my Instagram now, so look at my Instagram. Next. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be right back. <laughs> And now a word from our sponsor. Welcome back. Welcome back um, to the pew where I have my Instagram page and I'm showing Ernie a picture of Raphael. You know, the thing about you showing me pictures of people that we know from the 90s is that they're 20 years older, so some people really change a lot in that time. Um, yes, well, um, uh, he seems to not think that you and I have changed, so. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think we've changed less than other people. I, like, think, I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I 
Bitches want to know. Well, what do they want to know? Oh. Omega <laughs> Color Eyes has two questions for you. Did I really have have a French teacher who invited me to his place where he taught me how to kiss and have sex? Well, I, I've never had a French teacher. This sounds like the scene Fr- on... French yeah, teacher? French. Oh, French kiss. Ha <laughs> ha. This sounds like the uh, scene in Catcher in the Rye, but I... Uh, um, I never had. You never a, reenacted the scene. I never reenacted. Right? And then also, he wants to know um, what do you think of, him, of the American Justice? How many parts? Um, I think the American Justice. Uh, what well, that was dancing drugs and murder or something like that. Oh, uh, right. yeah. Um, With Annie, that guy who Annie, talks like this. Annie, Annie. Annie yes. Um, <laughs> Curtis, I thought it was funny. <laughs> something Curtis or something, right? I can't remember his name. Um, yeah, I, I thought that one was actually pretty good. I, th- I thought it was pretty um, unbiased and pretty factual. One of the most factual, I think. Well, that's because James St. James wasn't in it. Or was he? I think he might have been in it, but they probably edited out the stuff that wasn't true. They, because I think they actually did fact-checking for that, for that one. Um, that Imagine, one, fact-checking. And the E. Hollywood True Story was also uh, pretty Although factual. I do, you know, in James's defense, I do recall that he... Did make efforts at fact checking because okay, but when James Saint when James Saint James he wants, called me to yes, check facts when he when James Saint James wants to check check facts, it's over a line of cocaine and say, do you remember that time when we were at the after hours club at seven o'clock in the morning and uh, and Michael said this, you know, <laughs> and he said, yeah, I remember that, and then he writes it, yeah, 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 fact, <laughs> fact check. <laughs> well, thanks for tuning in. See Bye. you next time. Mm-hmm.